as always, your support is needed on Patreon. If you love what you see here and want to watch videos early or vote in everything I make, use the link in the description to check it out. Brand new video, and so this site can totally take a win once again. It's so pretty. I can't get over the mixture of facial reactions or how he talks like this or when he gets angry. It's so good. You can certainly guess why there's heavily used CGI here. Nabara from Jujutsu Kaisen. Her going over the top <laughs> of their introductions like this. Easy win here for the unique story being told. It's a touch too long to show, but the music was lovely and emotional, and the scene just looked stunning to me. Her very horrible past from prior games that she's played, and of course, oddly enough, in this one, she is being lovely to the NPC quest giver, confusing these two lads. Yeah, that's more like her normal self after all of the teasing they just gave her. Unexpectedly cute! To be quite honest, that was a lovely side to see to her. It's also the first time that I felt like she could legit join a group with them after this mission, potentially. A cool looking, badass moment between the three of them that really served to hype me up. Oh snap! He can use his new weapons now! Seeing his mother for the first time! Just getting a little look into how the game can affect things in real life, such as his mother being annoyed that he was in the game like, for an entire day, so she unplugged him like here. Another quick passing kawaii moment in the anime. Was nice to see more of his home life, shockingly far into the first season, getting introduced properly to his family and seeing how unique they all are too and what normal life is like for him. I've said it in the two prior videos and I'm saying it in the third video now, his reactions like this destroy me and I absolutely love them. It's one of the best things about the anime. <laughs> this is like her 40th attempt at coming across as nice and friendly, and before this, formal and over the top, just to invite him to play the game with her. <laughs> Such a weird ending, but they could totally take a win for it all the same. <laughs> This is definitely one of the few anime where people's inner monologues don't just stop the world around them. I know I mentioned that briefly in the first video, but here it is again. <laughs> Credit to him for his voice acting during the start of this episode, and her as well. She did a great scream earlier, as well to be fair. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and take another for that. She did it right after the last win. It's like fate.
Ah, now it makes more sense as to why so much of the episode was spent on them doing that fighting stuff in the other game. I was really starting to get confused. Man, I find moments like this to be the height of adorable. Still underneath Chopper and One Piece though, naturally. Chop me from Black Clover! <laughs> Him doing just about anything for this game and what it requires, up to and including drinking the disgusting looking mixture that has a bloody branch in it. To be clear, wasn't a branch with blood on it. Great how she can change her voice like that on the fly to sound so much more serious while seriously ripping him off and then his reaction to it all happening. At least this gives a fairly logical reason for him to wind up with no money and have to grind to get some more prior to the big fight coming soon. That's a nice twist that I had entirely forgotten about since it was mentioned a few episodes back. So they're very likely going to have to fight her guild before the boss. Ah, uh, I got it. She's going to leave the guild basically, and in the process, take what she wants from her former allies using the new abilities given by an update to the game. Clever. Ah, it gets even better! She doesn't want to have to fight them off the night they fight the boss! She wants to go to their hideout and do it there first! Hype! <laughs> Can't lie, that was a seriously badass ending to the episode, wasn't it? That was a lovely and relaxing change to the ED for the second half. Really great singing too, and the visuals were stunning looking. So cool to reveal this at the end of the first episode. I'm such a big fan of when they use the ending bits for things like this. She was also insanely cute wanting to gift them as well. Her being unable all this time to write him a letter. Bless her heart. They've only gone and earned yet another Max Wins for this new OP, but the song was just as good as the first, I thought. The visuals were outstanding, great animation throughout. Surprisingly, they animated these flowers, I do believe, and they look really good too. Nice to get a small glimpse of the backstory between these NPCs and so far it's being treated with a lot of care and respect and seriousness, which is nice to see. My god I love how they do cities in this one. It's not for Ren, but it's definitely really nice. <laughs> This girl has got no quit in her, thinking there are monsters everywhere in the cities! <sighs> Credit on her for pressing it. I figured it'd be the case that she'd keep getting close, pulling away and freaking out about the notion of sending him a DM as it were, but no, she did it. <laughs> That's getting a win and purely for someone making note of the fact that she has been doing nothing game or guild-wise all this time, which makes sense given all the gear she has. <laughs> I don't know how the author came up with that all of a sudden, but that's one of the best jokes in the entire thing to date. He then follows it up with another of the best jokes in the entire show with this, as it attempts to give him a letter, and he thinks it's the bird with the poison boat from before. Hi, Manatsu no hizashi mo tsuyoku. Hibi mo shono konka de arimasu ga, 
She thought she did a brilliant job over the past two weeks of creating a letter that was not too formal, not too casual, and yet this is how it begins. Him thinking the same thing as I just wrote, but it's how he says it. How aggressive she's getting with the bird, but also how amazed I am that NPCs can be like this with one another. It's nuts. How come he's such a badass rabbit, though? <laughs> These scenes are always so damn adorable. I wrote the last one, and then they give me this seconds later. I mean, come on! This look at the city at night is glorious! <laughs> Hell yes, that's an awesome twist, right? Because I knew she had important business to attend to, but I didn't know it'd be attacking them. I love it. A whole bunch of new and unique looking characters all of a sudden. Also though, who can forget, Kawaii! <laughs> I know I already winned him for his voice actor, but I was playing Trails through Daybreak and heard the voice of a guy called Aaron and was like, I know that voice and it's him, so that was cool. Oh, that's an even better twist than the last one. They're brother and sister. This is absolutely like where you would fight a boss in a proper RPG, like how they design it, I mean. Badass looking boss! You fight her! Love how they changed the art style on it all of a sudden with that hit! And that, not yet mentioned during this video I don't think, is a great mixture of CGI with the animation. A short but really beautiful looking continuous motion shot. For me, this is really the first time where I can see how his speed stat is being put to excellent use in spite of his lower level, compared to the boss anyway. Shocking turn of events that he actually got hit. I didn't think that would happen. Seeing something like this being used as well, I do believe for the first time and it was pretty cool. That'd be so weird to come across! That wasn't getting another win until the old man came out. The cost of these things, and now thankfully we know how expensive they are, since we found out recently that 80,000 is all he had from all his time farming to get to level 50. Also take a quick win for telling us the lengths she had to go to via all of the items and whatnot that she's bought for this single battle. <laughs> Great dodge, but my god his face when he does so. I swear the animators knock these scenes out of the park super consistently thus far. It's very impressive how smoothly it's animated and shot. <laughs> at times like this, he is so good at breaking the tension of a scene for but a moment. <laughs> he only lasted all the five seconds this time. <laughs> the pure and simple fact that they made it to the 10 minute mark. <laughs> Him calling in backup in the form of a giant robot horse thing. <laughs> oh, 
Also though, the change of music there, getting real funky sci-fi now. How insanely cool does that picture look though? Love how they only very quickly make use of the narrator to explain away things like the reward scales that she's using to give them a new edge in this battle. <laughs> that. <laughs> so easily that. Party! Cotton! Oh my goodness, that had All Might written all over it from My Hero Academia that did. What an awesome looking punch! At this point here, I really must admit that the fight as a whole is way more badass than I thought it'd be, so that's awesome. I know it was really close because he stupidly took his eyes off of it, but I wanted to win how much the stat change has made a difference now. He's much quicker. <laughs> I like that, because I had been thinking, why doesn't it attack her? Now it makes sense, she had no anger all that time. Oh, that was so damn close! Yeah. <laughs> this totally has to get one as well, that's so good. That right there is insane. That she's actually gotten this far once before, but that she had the whole guild doing it at the time. Wow! That is even more crazy than the last win! She did it! She threw some weird potion at him and it stopped the insta kill party wipe attack! By the by, credit again for nearly all things being hand done. It was the spider that was CGI in the second video. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's now turning into a giant mech? Man oh man, it's one thing after another! <laughs> He's such an awesome character, clearly he doesn't want to hold on for 10 minutes and win, he wants to beat it. Brilliant looking new helmet being used, that you can see more of his face in too, and his brand new blades as well, so damn sick! <laughs> that block though, come off it! The first time he lands a proper hit totally needs its own win, I think. I mean, it's such a tough boss. I've always kind of seen the rabbits as more of a joke from the start, until I saw the father's or boss's power, but now seeing this, they truly are legit. Assassin Pierce! You gotta love how Bart has been playing this game. He started out pretty well, but now he's on a whole other level. <laughs> Ending up like this again. They can absolutely take an easy Max Wins here for this superb sequence of animation. Beautiful and smooth. To the animators, absolute credit. <laughs> the voice actresses' reactions are nearly as good as the main characters sometimes. put, what a stunning looking series of attacks from those two. It's weird, it's suddenly so much more creepy when it doesn't attack like it should. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. 
リスまさかこの状況で考察でもさせる気か It's at times like this where I'm left thinking, after having been convinced it's not the case, is there more to this game than meets the eye? See you. That looks so dangerous, but also so sick! What? <laughs> it's great, really, how the animators can do small changes like this to make it seem like an ally or a foe has legit powered up like this near miss here. Brilliant change of music to really sell the increased danger of this new version of the boss, too. As insane as it seems, I believe all of that was done entirely by hand. My god! Suddenly going first person like it's absolutely not a big deal. Another Max 2 wins. When something looks that good, it just has to get it. <laughs> Seeing how powerful the strike was, that it went through his helmet and even halfway through his torso. <laughs> Such a hype ending! I'm guessing he used one of them just prior to the strike and now is coming back and meanwhile, he's walking away. Surprisingly nice animation there on the pulling out of the watch motion she did. <laughs> Loved the animation on him equipping the blades there. This is now at a stage of making my tum hurt. It's that constant pressure, the ever declining amount of revive items, and the increasing attacks in general from both foes. Such big props for the animation team who knocked this out of the park so consistently. It must have been such a pain and taken such a long time to create, but they did it. I'm so very confused. I don't know why she never tells them parts of the plan and what not up front. Yeah, but why not tell her though? Still, it oddly gets a win for greatly confusing me and making me laugh twice over. When you get the perfect voice actress, then you nail the animation to a T, you get fantastic looking and sounding moments like this, and this huge battle is full of them. Shockingly smooth animation on that right there, even more so than usual. It's not a full continuous motion shot, but it's bloody close to it. Such a stupidly creative way to deal with that scene. Wonder if that was in the manga originally. What a series of awesome looking setups and attempted attacks sadly stopped, it looks like anyway, at the last second because of one rogue missile. There's the attack I was hoping to see from the last win and we got it here instead. Absolutely glorious it was. Massive kudos to the team for bringing it to life and of course, Max wins. And it ends up being back to back Max wins for that almost equally incredible looking and sounding follow up attack. They totally won their battle. Take that win. You do. These final attacks legit feeling to even me watching and writing the script that they are the most powerful attacks yet.
Sogengets! I completely forgot that they can combine! <gasps> now that is a good way to end the battle, because he was screwed there for a moment. <laughs> His final attack of the greatest battle in the show to date. Supremely next level animation and effects throughout, a great build up all this time, edge of your seat action, Easy Max wins. Then that final ending there deserves its own standalone win, I think. Seeing them like this together gets me a little emotional just thinking about the lengths they managed to go to to beat that amazing foe on their own. <laughs> Have a final one here of the episode proper for a differently done ED. They really followed through on what I talked about before with the serious aspect of the quest, showing him as a human. <laughs> I don't always win them, but when they're done super cute like this and or funny, of which this was both, it does get a win. So wasn't getting another win until the reveal that she shaped it back into a normal chocolate bar in the end. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the Patreon linked below. Lots of rewards, like a quest, you get it? See you there and in the fourth quarter video. Darth Weirdo, Fiji, Maldiao, Mushwin, Nick Windham, The Elementator Wars, Christopher Willis, Emmanuel Gonzalez, Fancy Turtle, Kepan, Mini Masha, Marquez, Nozomi, Orkeeper, Audubon Denisi, Steelers, The Upper Commander, Bird Without a Word, Brandon Greer, Brian Bayard, Cameron, Christopher Terrassa, Commander Cyrus, David Freerix, Devacool, Doggos for Life, Dragonstorm 35, Guru Guru, James DeFoyer, Your Edvinson, Kevin Alston, Kumfroik, Miora Night Sky, Mr. Mansuit, Nightly Winter, Peter Milligan, Robert Jackson, Ruby Rose, Satakiari, Zions 44, Sean, Starkip, Tiger Lily Warrior, Alexander Schwartz, Ali 50, Amadillo, Arnador, Brainless Ben, Cecilia, Cedric, Cloud Garden, Dante Soul, Dante Face, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Donald Newborn, Dragon Defender, Dragon Boy One, Drake's Daughter, Iso, Francie, Furious Mo, Garrett Vermish, Henrik Jensen, Hoth Loseritter, Israel Caldera, Joe Crims, Jason Davies, John John, Jaffa6263, Kai Wolfspring, Kelnock, Kevin Nelter, Kevin 102, Knuckle Duster, Cody Niemeyer, Kai158, Kyle Jones, Laxor, Laxus, Liam Gagati, Lifty, Lionel Schultz, Luis Minito, Marvin, Mason Stelfer, Matthew Blancet, Michael Lewis, Miran Ardron, Mo Devira, Mr. Firecall, Nathaniel Gigramosa, Natsu Dragneel, Nick Monaco, Nick Pell, Novagal, 1928, Oliver Smiley Reacts, Olive Wolf, Onyx Caliph, Oscar I Lopez, Owen Holoran, Porgy, that's a fish, Q Flash, Chris Harris, Rimuru, Rodiz, Roll Tide Wes, Ryan Deviri, Sadaholic, Sakumi Aorum, Sarcastic Truth, Shadow Cleanser, Snowy, Stan, Storm 970, TRS, The Danish Muggle, Thrasher 340, Tomo Sandy, Vernon Hogan, Wacky Normal, Will Sass, Willyman, 